take and acquire keyword capital letters what is not for sale says the lord of hosts and says the spirit of the lord this day thus capitalized a horn shall arise in the mist they shall attempt to exalt their horns that's capitalized says the lord of hosts watch spain in the mist says the lord of hosts and says the spirit of the lord this day the green new deal shall turn to a goal of a deal as an attempt to propitiate another tentacle of this deal is cut off that's capitalized says the lord is compromised and shall indeed infect the other areas of such says the lord of hosts there are those in congress who are speaking out against the tensions of russia and china that blasphemous dragon and ukraine however capital says the lord of hosts they have had secret meetings by computer with the consulates and advocates and ministers of these leaders and have secretly struck a deal and are doing such and opening up avenues of great monetary value and great weaponry and great capital technology in order to make a deal for such for they are casting lots capitalized for Ukraine the Haymans are casting lots that's capitalized for Ukraine for they have now this is interesting in the middle of the word have and before the next word are the numbers 2212 just keep that in mind they had foolishly thought they had the power of others going forth with them that they have no opposition to such however capital says the lord of says the lord the book of esther just watch says the lord just watch for you shall and will see divine reversals and sudden changes in course that shall begin to lead things in an unexpected direction says the lord of hosts the explosiveness has just begun as a string of eruption shall occur both from within the earth and around the world says the lord and the spirit of the lord says this day o canada o canada i the lord am with you all capitals the wicked leaders of your land are not fighting you but fighting me and my plan capitalized they are attempting to drain and lynch and blockade the people coming together in one accord what can be withheld from them says the lord of hosts a very sudden and sharp plummet all capitals within the leadership of canada shall echo freedom across the land o canada cry out to me march forward put on the whole armor of god and stand that's capitalized for the dawn breaking forth of your salvation is at hand and says the lord of hosts an outbreak in south america of yet another engineered disease capitalized shall purposefully set off alarm bells to send that serpent of fear slithering through your hemisphere once again however says the lord i have given you the power to trample capitalize upon serpents and scorpions and against all the power of the enemy so nothing shall by any means hurt you there shall not only be a trample but a stampede says the lord as leaders are run over by their own people as so my people under the leadership of Esther and Mordecai so rose up so girded their loins and readied themselves under threat of total destruction and i the lord your god went forth before esther i went forth before mordecai i went forth and exposed the plot that was birthed from an abuse of power and a corrupted desire to be king and oust who was on the throne and says the lord of hosts unholy unions for the kingdom of darkness are taking place repent says the spirit repent says the spirit repent for your cup of iniquities shall be poured out i believe he's talking about relationships and marriages too and the spirit of the lord says this day a major move out capitalized of washington dc as those are physically moved capitalized and thrusted from this city some may quote retire and some will just fall capitalized as there is a major upheaval preparing to take place and that layer that has been protecting many shall be cracked and broken up and that soil tilled and the roots torn up and removed twisted right out of position says the lord of hosts this day and says the spirit of the lord this day i am with you my children always even until the end of the age i the lord your god am breathing a breath of fresh air into your lives the enemy has released an attack a potent one of depression and hopelessness and tormenting thoughts however i the lord god am your shield your glory and the lifter of your head fast and pray and it shall lose its power and retreat says the lord of hosts this day 
the enemy is attempting to weary many through this and tire them out to a point of exhaustion. However, I, the Lord God, am the giver of life, and I shall refresh and renew and blow that depressive fog from your mind as you continue to press that's capitalized and persevere on such a path. The enemy has attempted to slow you down, but just as Elijah was given a special cake to refresh him that caused him to run faster than a chariot. So I, the Lord, in this hour of refreshing you, my children, I am filling you with my power, strength, authority, and sharpness of mind and speech that you shall see things accelerate and burst forth, giving you strength and endurance to run this ne next leg of your race. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, I am the good shepherd that's so capitalized and I shall protect and honor such who have gone out into the fields and done the work who have truly shepherded the sheep, not in a way that alienates the sheep from me, the Lord, your God, but in a way that draws them to me for I desire a close communion with my children and I desire to see them work the harvest than going around causing division and confusion among the sheep for those sheep shall be isolated and locked away where they cannot do such harm to the flock and the shepherds. Fox is about to lose another leg, says the Lord of hosts. And a blow to Al Jazeera as well, says the Lord. They're both news agencies. A shifting of plates near Russia. The ground shall shake beneath them, says the Lord of hosts. And an Ayatollah is about to blow. That's capitalized, says the Lord of hosts. As prideful men have risen up on their podiums to demonstrate their strength. However, I, the Lord of hosts, shall send a wind to knock them over. And the Spirit of the Lord says this day, the East Coast governors, watch what happens on that coast. Now, remember, I got this word uh, from the 7th and the 8th, so this started two days ago. Watch what happens on that coast. Closely watch the timing of what they do, says the Lord of hosts. The West Coast governor is hanging on by a thread, a frayed, dirty, tarnished thread that is about to snap. And the backlash shall be great, says the Lord of hosts. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, I am, that's capitalized, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I change not, I neither sleep nor slumber, and I reveal the mysteries of the kingdom to those with a listening ear for such. Open your ears to hear the word of the Lord, for in this hour I am revealing mysteries to my children who are seeking and pressing, and they shall crack codes, they shall see patterns, they shall make connections that others did not see, and this shall refine them and propel them forward. Their purpose for my capital kingdom, says the Lord of hosts. Let me just do this here. The combination will be found, says the Lord, highly sensitive documents at bases and forts. The combination shall be found and the findings shall be shared as even the Pentagon will think, quote, the sky is falling with what will happen. And then the Lord says, a comet a comet just watch says the lord dot 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 that's all he says in this hour there shall be a squeeze and a sudden release as i am letting the air out of trudeau's balloon as well says the lord of hosts europe is very restless says the lord of hosts and not only protests but other explosions in europe as there shall be a very serious assassination attempt against one of its hallmark leaders says the lord of hosts now is the time to know your roots be firmly rooted. Do not get weary in the last leg of this race, as there will be much contending, and you, my children, shall contend for the faith, and be victorious in such as you submit yourselves to the sharpening that you shall need to be a weapon and an instrument for my glory, as you shall speak filled with the Holy Spirit in this hour. The process shall not be sped up but shall complete its full work and intention as their skirts are being lifted above their heads and their nakedness exposed. Such a scandal and such shame for the leader of China that he shall become a laughing stock to his own people, a spectacle before the world, as his plans will not only flop but fall. I shall make a show of him, says the Lord. Just watch what happens between China and Russia as their power shall wane as well in a series of events. I, the Lord, shall shake these paper doll leaders in this hour as they have overstepped. And now I, the Lord, shall trample their plans. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the King of Kings, in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that's where it ends. That is where it ends. No, God will not be mocked. 
God will not be mocked. You know, these mere men, that's why he calls them paper doll leaders, because they can be shaken so easily. They're standing on a false power. They're standing on a power that's not stable. They're standing on a power that's not of God. That's why he's calling them paper doll leaders, because there's no substance to them. There's none. They're paper thin. That's why he's calling them that. So just so you know, uh, I found that that saying interesting, what the Lord said. Uh, be encouraged, people of Canada. We're praying for you. The Lord is with you. Put on your armor and stand still and see the salvation of the Lord come into that land as you cry out on your knees to Almighty God. So praise the Lord. I know I'm hearing things about the White House, but I haven't looked at anything. Yes, and I, I want to say something too. Many of you may know Chris Ponte. I would go on his show in Connecticut. He had a show at the Comcast studio in Connecticut. Love the Lord. Love this nation. And unfortunately, over this past weekend, he went home to be with the Lord. And Chris Ponte passed away and he graduated to glory and he's now with Almighty God. And it's very, it was very sad. And last week it was Wednesday and the Lord had told me that something was going to happen over the weekend with him. That something significant was going to occur over the weekend with him. So I just continued to pray. And so just pray for those who, who loved him, who really loved him. Um, he was like my Italian cousin and he will be greatly missed. And I know he is with the Lord and he is just in glory and a wonderful place. My condolences also to the Christmas family. I am so sorry. I know firsthand what it's like to see a loved one suffer a brain bleed. I have walked this out with my husband, Chris, and I am so sorry what has happened to your son. Um, and we're praying for you. And we just pray the peace and understanding of God surrounds you during this time. And that God works this together for good. Not that all things are good. But God works all things together for good for those who love God. And are called according to his purpose. So just know that we are praying for them and their family in this time as well. And I understand uh, what it's like and what they're going through. And there is Chet positioning himself perfectly in the camera. There he is, guys. There he is. I can't take him out because Wally is literally on his perch, like right there. And so I try to police the two of them together. But it was it was hard to hear both of those things occur over the weekend. And we just wanted to. Uh, Chris was, was so funny. He was just an amazing person. And... We loved him very much. So I just wanted to uh, to just give a little tribute to him. And that um, knowing he's with the Lord brings some comfort right now. So praise the Lord that God is a merciful God and he loves his children. And that they're in glory. Praise the Lord for that. So anyway, I know that's on a sad note. And things happen in life like that. So it's, it's you know, it's hard. We walk through a lot of pain. Um, we walk through a lot of pain. Um, yes, I heard Mr. Obel passed as well, so I'm sorry about that as well. And I just pray peace for his family. I do. So it's... Uh, we walk through a lot of things in this life that aren't pleasant, that aren't fun, that can be grueling and exhausting. But the process of resisting is when the enemy is trying to stop you. You push and you resist and you persevere. And even if you have to persevere inches at a time, you're still moving forward, which means the enemy's plan is failing. It is not completing its purpose. And we have to remember that. And we have to press and race and push and resist. And even if we have to crawl, we crawl. But as long as we're moving forward, it means the enemy is failing. He is failing. So this is why it is so important to move forward. It is so important to go forward. It is so important to press towards the mark of the high calling in your life. It's important. And it's important in this hour because the enemy 
really wants to upset the apple cart. He really wants to upset the plans that God has for his children. He's moving them and shifting them and repositioning them right now. There's a lot of change and growing pains in many of God's children's lives right now. The growth is for the good. It doesn't mean it feels good, but ultimately it will be for the good. Ultimately, it will be deeper faith. Ultimately, we will be operating in that power and authority that we need to be good witnesses on this earth for Almighty God. Even though there's nobody good but God, Jesus himself said that. There's nobody good but God. So, we just need to understand right now and not be ignorant of the enemy's devices. I'm not saying to be obsessed with them. I'm saying don't be ignorant of them. Paul himself says we are not ignorant of the enemy's devices and we are not. And you can take the temperature in, a, in the room spiritually, meaning like you can feel uh, when the enemy is coming in and causing tension and discord and confusion and problems, all to try to throw you off track. He did it to me all day today to try to stop this broadcast, I believe, from going forth. But all oh, glory be to God. It went forth. I may be tired. My voice may be suffering a bit. But we persevered and went forth in Jesus' name. Hãy subscribe 